Other many merchants are using PayPal to receive payments for products and services. Ghana's 32 million people, like many more in other blacklisted countries, are unable to transact business using PayPal. Thus, PayPal is not currently legal in Ghana. Here's a look at why PayPal isn't available in Ghana and why you should be concerned as a Ghanaian. Welcome to the first episode of I Look Into It, where we look at important technology topics like this. It's Innocent here, and if you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe. Now, let's take a look at why PayPal is not available in Ghana with a brief introduction of what PayPal is. PayPal is a service that allows you to pay, send money, and accept payment. You can link your credit or debit card to your PayPal account. PayPal, which has been in operation since December 1998, began as Confinity by Max Levchin and Peter Thiel, which was later developed and launched as a money transfer service at Confinity in 1999, and it received its initial public offering in 2002. Although you may have seen videos and blogs on how to create PayPal accounts in Ghana from many creators such as Joel Sam, Tekinchi, and Shepard from Infidia.com, PayPal is not legally available in Ghana. And here is why. Credit card fraud. Now, PayPal rose to prominence after eBay purchased it in 2002 for approximately $1.5 billion. Not long after this historic step, PayPal began to expand globally, with many online merchants accepting it. Unfortunately, in the same early 2000s, when the internet cafe was a new phenomenon in most West African countries, including Ghana, Nigeria, and Senegal, many young people spent the majority of their time at the cyber cafe surfing the internet. However, a concerning trend began to emerge in the majority of these internet cafes. The young men discovered darknet websites that provided them with unrestricted access to credit and MasterCard information from people in Europe and America. They used this information to purchase clothing and electronics from e-commerce websites such as eBay and Amazon. Remember, PayPal was owned by eBay then. Around 2004, thousands of legitimate PayPal, Amazon and eBay users complained about unusual purchases and large sums of money disappearing from their accounts. These technological monoliths decided it was past time to put a stop to credit card fraud. They decided to blacklist many West African countries from using the platform for illegal activities at the same time. Ghana, Nigeria and a number of other countries were among those blacklisted. It should be noted that this blacklist does not only include Africa or West African countries. Pakistan, Monaco, Liberia, Cameroon, and several other countries are also included. PayPal does not publicly detail why it does not service particular countries. Media speculations suggest common reasons could include insufficient regulation and security in the country's banking system, failure of a country to comply with US tax law, or a US trade ban affecting a country. The availability of PayPal in countries can and does change. For example, in April 2013, PayPal became available in Egypt for the very first time. Ghanaians, particularly young Ghanaians, have not regarded the blacklisting of PayPal as something cool. Efforts have been made to restore Ghana to PayPal whitelist. In 2013, a young Ghanaian named Samuel Dakon started an online petition to make it possible for Ghanaians to make or receive payments through the PayPal platform. His goal then was 5,000 signatures and he received approximately 2,486 signatures as well as a lot of social media buzz. According to City Business News, the Ghana Interbank Payment and Settlement System GHIPSS, also announced in June 2016 that it has intensified efforts to integrate online payment company PayPal into its platform, allowing Ghanaians to purchase goods and services online. In 2019, Vice President Mahmoud Baumia stated at an event that the payment service PayPal would be available in Ghana by the second half of 2019. He stated that Ghanaians will be able to use PayPal to make payments in early 2020. He said, according to the roadmap presented by PayPal, by the second half of 2019, Ghanaian merchants should be able to receive payments for their goods sold online. Many people were overjoyed when it was announced that PayPal would finally be available. But as of August 2022, there has been no word on whether PayPal will remain operational in Ghana. As of the time of making this video, 
The petition started by a young Ghanaian named Taco was still ongoing and had nearly reached its target of 25,000 signatures. You can help make a difference by signing the petition. A link will be included in the description. What is PayPal's current incentive to be online in Ghana? It's difficult to say right now. It's about the numbers right now. How many PayPal users are there in Ghana? Is it sufficient to be active and provide for Ghanaians? One reason for companies to enter markets is to expand or scale, acquire new customers and grow revenue. Is there enough data in Ghana to support PayPal's operations? Let's put this in perspective. PayPal, which was previously blacklisted in Nigeria, has been operational since 2014, with a drawback that users in Nigeria can only send funds and make online payments, but not withdraw or receive funds. This makes sense given that Nigeria has one of the fastest growing economy in Africa and is also one of Africa's largest countries, with a population of 215.87 million as of 2022. Ghana, on the other hand, has a smaller population of about 32 million people. You already know that PayPal is the quickest and most secure way to pay online. PayPal allows you to pay for your favorite items at millions of online stores in the United States and 203 global markets without having to convert currency. Most young Ghanaians are attempting to make ends meet by exploring money-making opportunities online. However, the majority of these websites for affiliate marketing, click to pay and survey websites require the use of PayPal. Some Ghanaians, including myself, who work in freelance and other creative fields, have lost countless online jobs because the only payment method clients were willing to accept was PayPal. And this raises the question, wouldn't it be more logical and liberating if there was an option like PayPal in Ghana? Initially, Ghanaians could create other PayPal accounts through other countries such as Lesotho and Kenya. However, due to the recent policy changes, most Ghanaian accounts are being blocked by PayPal. Concerns have been expressed by the likes of Joel Sam and Tekin Chi, two of Ghana's most influential creators when it comes to discussions about PayPal. And this should be a call to every Ghanaian to get involved in the agenda of bringing PayPal back into Ghana. I know there are alternatives such as Flutterwave, Stripe, Wave, and the introduction of mobile money and all the amazing apps one can use to receive money, especially from abroad. But PayPal's inability to operate in Ghana is very bad for business. PayPal has almost become a de facto standard for online transactions. You don't understand why Ghana isn't on PayPal. What are your plans to address this issue? Perhaps we should support our brother's petition. There is no harm in giving it a shot. To sign the petition into bringing PayPal into Ghana, a link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this piece of content, a like, subscribe and share will be so very much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.